Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting. And since so many of you guys have requested this and I forgot to make the video, I decided to, you know, make the video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a uh, system, uh, like a shop system with cash that actually works. So let's just get right into the video. So the first thing you're going to need is a like an actual cash system. So just go into the server script service, click the plus and enter in a script. And now you can write what I write. So game dot players dot player added colon connect function player. And then go down line and write local leader stats equals to instance dot new and then quotation marks and then write in folder. After that, go down line and then write leader stats dot name equals to and then quotation marks leader stats. And then up here behind the folder, after the quotation mark, just write comma and then write player. So now that we've got the uh, oh, actually, we have a little mistake here, it shouldn't be capitalized. So now that we got our leader stats down, we're going to make the actual cash system. So go down two lines and write local cash equals to instance dot new and then quotation marks and then we're going to write int value. After that, go down line and write cash dot name equals to quotation marks cash. After that, go back to the int value and after the quotation marks, just write comma leader stats now that we got our cash system working we're gonna need to hook it up with the key card so for demonstration purposes I'm gonna give ourselves lots of starting cash so cash dot value equals to let's say let's give ourselves a thousand cash so you may not see it now but when you join the game there will be a leader stats uh, on the top right and then basically um, that leader stats will have cash so now we got our cash system working we're gonna go back to the actual shop which is over here and then we want to go into the key card image so this is our thing right now basically it copies the thing inside replicated storage which is a tool and then it gives it to the player's backpack so now we're gonna charge them money so after they click the button, go down the line and then write if player dot leader stats dot cash dot value. So let's put the price of this key card at five hundred dollars. So we're gonna write over equal five hundred then and then we're gonna take this line and copy it in and we're gonna delete this. And then we're gonna leave it there for now. So right now you have to have over $500 to pay for the thing. So next thing we're going to have is an error message. So go back to the shop and click the plus and enter in a text label. After you got that, you can name it uh, to whatever you want. I'm going to name mine error message just like that. And I'm going to drag it all the way to the bottom middle. So it should look something like this. And now I'm going to customize it how I want. So I don't want a background. And then I'm going to write not enough cash. Let's make it bold. And let's make it scaled. And then let's also just make the text red. There you go. So now if you don't have enough cash, it'll tell you not enough cash. After that, go into the error message. Go to the properties. And just make it invisible. After that, you can go back to the script here. So after the backpack, go down line and write else. And then go down line and then write script dot parent dot parent dot error message dot visible equals to true. Go down line, wait three seconds, and then copy this entire line right here, paste it, and change the true to false. So the last thing we're gonna do is uh back to the um they need the cash so if they do have the cash before we give them to it we're going to deduct it from their 
total amount. So we're going to go down a line and then write player dot leader stats dot cash dot value minus equal 500. And to make sure that the player doesn't get more than one after we give it to them, we're going to write script dot disabled equals to true. And then that's it. So let's go quickly test it out. So I just load into the game. You can see that the shop buttons still work. And if I was to buy a key card, I, you know, I lose $500, but now I have a key card. And you can see, I cannot buy more than one. So this is last. So this last step is really optional. You don't have to do it. But basically, you can tell the player how much cash this thing's worth. So you can write key card and then colon cash 500. So now the player actually knows how much this key card costs. But with that out of the way, that will be it for this video. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. There might be a part 3 where um, like everything saves. But that will depend on how much people actually want one. With that out of the way, goodbye.